morning everybody, it's time for maths. We have a new number this week and our number is the number 14. We are looking at the digits one, start at the top and down we run. That's the way that we make one and a four. Down and across and down some more, that's the way that we make four. And we're not adding them together, they just sit next to each other to make the number 14. Okay, now if you've already watched number blocks, you'll know lots about the number 14 already. But one of the first things we need to do is count carefully to number 14. Now I'm not in school today because of all the snow, how lucky are we? So I've had to find some things around my house to count. And I don't have many toys at my house. And we've eaten all the pasta. So I thought, I know what I've got lots of, shoes. So I'm using my shoes to help me count this morning. You can count anything you want, but we have to do it carefully. Remember, we can point, we can move, but we have to count carefully. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Did you count carefully? Brilliant, I knew you would. Now, we know that when we have a new number, we have to explore that number and find the different parts. So if I put some of my shoes over here, there's some there, and here's the rest, I've got two parts. Let's see how many are in this part. One, two, three, four, four. I'm going to write that on my board. You could use paper. Down and across and down some more. That's the way that we make four. Now I'm going to check how many I've got in the other part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put that on my board too. Four and ten. 4 and 10 are two parts of the number 14. I can turn that into a number sentence. 4 add 10 equals 14. But we know there are, whoops, we know there are lots of ways that I can partition my, my shoes to make the number 14. Lots of different ways I can split them up. I'm going to have another go. I'm going to put these ones over there and leave those ones there. Are you ready to help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is a part of 14 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and seven is 14. Have a go, see how many different ways you can find of making 14. How diff many different ways can we split up our numbers and you can be as creative as you like with what you choose to count. If you really wanted to, which I'm sure you will, you could go outside and do it with snowballs. How fun would that be? Don't forget to let us know. Send us a picture or a video on Dojo. Good luck. See you later.